Okay, this is step one in um, downloading Bria for the Android phone. It's very similar for the iPhone as well. Step one is basically access the App Store or what's now called the Play Store. There it is there, the Play Store. Then you go in here, or Google Play. Um, then you go in here and you search for Bria. So you click on here. Search for Bria. I've just, it's one of the ones I've previously searched for. You click on Bria. And as you can see there, it's Bria Android VoIP soft phone. You click on it. It's already installed on this um, phone. So obviously it's saying open or uninstall. It's already installed. Um, to install it, you basically just click on install. There is a one-off fee, it's under $10. To download it, um, you'll need to have your, um, create an account um, and pay via your credit card, but you, it's secure and you can download um, that application. Um, once you've downloaded, you can come in here and the Bria app will be on your phone. There it is there. You click on the Bria app, Bria app now it says you don't have an active account, please tap to add account. So there you go, we tap. And it gives you a list of different types of um, uh, VoIP accounts to set up. You set up a generic one at the top. Now account name is the phone number. So I've already saved this to my um, clipboard. So I'm just gonna paste it in. Otherwise you would just um, type it in. Display name is the phone number again, so you would just type it in down through your keyboard. I'm just going to, I've saved it, so I'm just going to paste it. Username, which is the most important one here, is again your phone number. Okay, so summarize here, account name, display name, and username are all your phone number with area code and, and number. The password... Uh, what I'm going to do now is hold the phone away and type in the password. Excuse me for a minute while I type this password in. Okay, so the password's entered there. Okay. So account name, phone number, display name, phone number, username, phone number, password. The last one here is the, the, the domain. The domain is sip.mypbx.com.au. You know, again, I'm going to take a shortcut here. So because I'd already saved in, in my phone, s no spaces, sipsip.mypbx.com.au, click on OK. Okay, and that's all you do, that's all you need. So what you do here, then you press, press the back button, the back button saves your settings. As you can see, there's the account. Now, what you may need to do here, the, the, the important thing is, in the top right-hand corner, that it, it'll, it'll focus in a second. You're going to see a little Bria symbol. If there's a red X on there, or any kind of red writing on there, means it's not connected. Uh, it's not fully... Um, you see there's none there. To fix, if, if, there, if there is a red cross on there, but all you do is you come in here, and you select the menu in this right corner down here and you ask it to reinitialize and what you're looking for is when it just focuses here you're looking for a tick a green tick in the box there it is the green tick and you're looking top right hand corner with a Bria it's nice and clear there's no red cross in there so if you want to make a phone call now you come out
press the back button. We go to your phone. There's your dial pad. And say file just to test this works. I'm going to make a number to the office. There you go, it's calling there. And what you can see, basically that's the call being made through. Thank you very much.